Hey guys, Levi and Andy here with Grendel Hunter. And in today's video, we're doing another pretty cool ballistic gel test with a 6.5 Grendel. You bet, we got some 129 grain Nosler Acubon long range loaded by Druid Hill Armory in Missouri. We're not gonna shoot it at point blank, so stick around and we'll get into it. Okay, 6.5 Grendel, 129 grain Nosler Acubon long range into the ballistic gel at 100 and 425 yards. What's the reason for those two distances? So for 100 yards, that's a common range that hunters, you and myself included, zero our rifles at. So shooting it at that distance to see how it performs makes a lot of sense. Okay, so 425 yards, that's not an arbitrary number that we picked out of a hat. 425 yards happens to be where the bullet drops to about 1,000 foot-pounds of energy, at least out of our barrel with, with our velocity data. And 1,000 foot-pounds is a pretty common number that people use that they want at least that for an ethical kill on medium-sized games. So that's why we chose 425 yards. We're going to shoot at 100 and the 425 into the gel and compare the two and see how it does. So this bullet's a Nosler Acubon long range, 129 grain, loaded by Druid Hill Armory. You can see it started to expand, what, about an inch and a half in it really? Really start, I mean, maybe at an inch, but certainly by an inch and a half. Yep. And then your real damage starts at about two inches, I guess. Yep, and those looks to be three or four pretty large copper fragments right there. That spread out to about four inches. Kind of the tip of that jacket coming apart and letting it expand. Yep. And from two inches all the way out to, well, I guess nine, nine and a half, that's fairly consistent. And then it, that wound channel starts to close there at about nine maybe, but continues on to 11 and a half, 12 before it's kind of back to just bullet diameter. There's a good amount of fragments from an inch and a half to about four and a half inches in. Yep. What about after four and a half? Are we seeing much? I thought I saw kind of a few right in that wound channel in the bullet path. Real tiny, a couple little tiny little lead ones. Yeah, you can see those all the way out to the, well, even into the second block, all the way out to like 21 inches. There's some of those. Really small. Not a ton of fragments after that initial four or five inches, though. Right. And how far from the bullet path do you think those fragments are? Like they only spread out from it a couple inches, don't they? There's three large fragments that each one of them is about two inches from the bullet path. Sure. So if you put it in the shoulder, that meets bloodshot anyway. Right. You need to do a generous little cut around of a couple, three inches from where you hit it and throw that meat away. Sure didn't fragment like a ballistic tip or an SST does. You got some fragments there initially, but it's not quite as much. Well, it's not meant to. No. It's a bonded bullet. Yeah. A lot more fragments than I expected to see. But the difference between this and like a ballistic tip that we shot is all these fragments are in the first five inches and then there's just super small ones after that. With like that ballistic tip, we had large fragments all the way up to like 14 inches. Yeah. But I do, I mean, the spread you get on that's kind of cool. A bonded bullet held together their overall penetration looks to be about 25 inches but then it kind of the ballistic gel you know as the cavity closes back down the vacuum the suction kind of sucked it back an inch or so looks like we're gonna get good weight retention and expansion yeah real good expansion real good penetration and weight retention all right, we're all set up here. We got the steel target out at 425 yards and we just dialed this in and got it zeroed to get ready for the gel shot. So we're gonna go check that out and see how it looks. A quick note on accuracy with this load, guys. We found it to shoot real well, not just at 100, but even out at 425. We were able to put nice group in the chest and couple head shots without really much trouble. Now that we know where it's hitting, Levi's gonna put one in the gel. Oops. 
We're out at 425 yards now. And I, it honestly, it, it still performed quite well. So this is our, you know, our thousand foot pound of energy range. And what are we seeing here, Levi? Well, similar to the 100 yard test, it, it opens up right away at an inch and a half in. The difference right away you see between the two is how much expansion with the fragmenting on that 100 yard test. You get the thinner copper jacket at the tip that kind of broke off and you saw it right right away when it hit, kind of kind of go three different directions and separate the tip and the, a little bit of the copper jacket. This one, the, the wound cavity is not as drastic, nor as long. You know, starting at about an inch and a half is where it starts to open, and out to, I guess, about four and a half to five and a half inches and then it gets kind of small again for an inch and opens back up for a couple inches out to eight and then it's pretty consistent where it's you know it, it's what energy it had that thousand foot pounds kind of left there in the first few inches but it chugs right along loses a little bit of fragments yeah five inches in there's a large piece of copper that flares off and that's where you see the wound cavity kind of closed down a little bit after that one escapes you got copper and lead fragmenting out from like 12 and a half to well I guess out to 17 inches where you lose that big chunk. Not a ton of fragmenting though. A couple kind of medium pieces that pop out at you but it's not like you know your ballistic tips or your SSTs where you where you see quite a bit. The bonded bullet did well. We got penetration all the way out to 22 inches. It mushroomed great. Yeah that penetration with that much expansion is impressive. Yeah, I think, what, what do we figure? We're down at about 1,850 feet per second at 425 yards. With 1,000 foot-pounds of energy, still got 22 inches of penetration, great mushrooming. You know, another thing I think is interesting here, Levi, the, well, the point of this is to hunt at long range. It's supposed to be a long-range hunting bullet. Mm -hmm. So what we see here is where it's actually expending some energy and tearing the gel, tearing the internal organs is in that two to 15 inch range. Right. I mean, after 15 inches, there's not, you don't see that. You just, you know, the bullet's gliding through, making its little hole, but the spots where it's torn, then that's exactly what you want. If you were shooting a deer broadside, you want it to be tearing stuff between two and 15 inches after impact. Yeah, you definitely get that with this bullet here. So I guess a little recap comparison between how the bullet performed at 100 and 425 yards. You know, there were some you know, slight differences where we saw the fragments come off, the, what little fragmenting it did do at the two distances, little differences, but what's really interesting is just how damn near identical these bullets ultimately look at the end of things. Their weight retention, I mean, almost identical. Their expansion, almost identical, you know, 2.4 times at 425, 2.6 times at 100 yards. Even their penetration, 24 inches at 100 yards and 22 inches at 425 yards. Very similar performance. And you're, you're talking about a similar performance with a 450 feet per second velocity difference and 550 foot pound difference. So this bonded bullet was essentially immune to us moving the target another 325 yards downrange. Maybe the real big difference that you see is in that energy number. When, when you look at the damage done in the gel, the tearing, you can see the wound cavity size and length difference being that at 425 yards, it's got 550 fewer foot-pounds of energy, but the bullet itself behaved the same. All right, guys, if you think you might want to try out this 129 grain Acubon long range grundle load, check out Druid Hill Armory. We got a discount code for you. Use Grundle Hunter at checkout and give you 10% off. If you found this video interesting and want to see more content like this, check out our channel. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.